Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Mazio here and today we're bringing you a Clash of Clans video and yeah, um, guys, as you can, you know, probably see from the thumbnail and the title, the clan capital is here and I'm gonna be like putting this video out a bit later obviously because uh, I do not have the access to the um, how do you call it, like the dev you know bases and um, so I cannot bring you early videos I gotta bring the videos after the update has been released you know and uh, yeah that's the problem with it but obviously today's video we're gonna talk about how fast and how actually you can you know move faster to you know higher levels in clan capital so let's get right into it all right we are here in clan capital so obviously we have as you guys can see we have the barbarian camp already but i'm gonna show you guys first the capital peak so obviously this is where you first jump into when you obviously unlock or not unlock when you jump into the clan capital right so what you want to do is obviously get all the things you can built up the runes so you can get your capital hall upgraded as fast as possible and by doing that obviously you need to contribute so how do you contribute you obviously need to for example trade gold elixir dark elixir builder elixir and builder gold to me dark elixir is not worth it because it takes you 72,000 if you have one or two million dark elixir and you're the type of guy that buys offers so that's how much dark elixir you have yeah you can you know trade it but I don't recommend it if you do not have a lot of dark elixir so what you want to do is basically you want to you know trade um, gold elixir or you can trade that's what I'm gonna do build the gold and build the elixir because those are very you know um, you can say not easy to get but you always like have a lot of them as you guys can know like we you don't play a lot of builder base probably most likely you know that's what my guess is so you don't really have to like you know go attack get seven million gold in the main village and put it all in you know capital gold you know if you have extras you can easily just you know trade it with your builder and that's the most value i think out of it and also in clan games this season you probably got like um you didn't get it but you had it in the clan games uh, i'm gonna show you guys real quick you probably had this um builder rune right here i'm gonna collect these after because i wanted to collect the potion but this one is more value because it gives you two builders that you can build and you know collect some capital gold because this is the most value you can get out of that line of you know stuff here so what are we gonna do is basically i'm gonna show you guys obviously i'm building these for now i'm gonna go buy um probably um with medals i'm gonna go buy a builder potion so i can get those fast and get it done with i have two accounts so i'm building in two accounts like how do you call this building you can say i'm building capital gold i always say i cook it because you're basically cooking it's like a troops you know it's gonna come out later you cook it so let's let's jump into it i'm gonna show you guys something real quick two very good things when you unlock the capital hall level two is easy you just have to contribute for the first time like once you have the capital uh, hall to level two you unlock the barbarian camp and now it gets interesting because here i just woke up and look at this i just woke up and this man elite kgn a legend <laughs> has donated and or contributed twenty nine thousand to you know I don't know it's probably half of it to the the capital hall because I was sleeping when we had like maybe 75% of it done so he contributed to that and then he got all these runes these were all runes like this right these are all runes you unlock by contributing and rebuilding as you guys can see so he unlocked all these when we were sleeping I don't know how he was awake because his timing is kind of the same with me it was like 4 or 5 a.m. or 3 a.m but now the most important thing i told everyone in the clan because right now i'm um like i got the leader role but obviously this is a whole clan contribution and suggestions and everything so we talked about it and we said right now we have all the defenses nearly <laughs> that you, you know you, they can defend right but we need to attack in the raid weekend you need to attack and get capital gold 
or get medals, um, raid medals, right? So you cannot attack if you don't have the maxed out um, troops. I'm gonna show you guys these two are the troops that we have, right? Um, if you unlock the barracks and you upgrade it, you upgrade the barbarian to level two. And then if you unlock the army camp, you have one army camp, I believe, or two, but then you can unlock uh, more army camps. It's here, right here. And we are already contributing to this. I'm gonna be contributing to that so we can get more army camps so we can cook more troops. 60 troops, look at this, five of it is gone, 15 is gone. You cannot cook a lot. With five archers, obviously the archers are a group of five, but it's harder to attack, you, you feel me? But overall, that's what you want to focus on. First, if you get to district hall in barbarian camp. If you get this camp, always focus on the army, you know, stuff. And I was talking about how fast you can go. There is few options. You can obviously, like these, you know, two gentlemen here, <laughs> you can obviously gem it and uh, get it done with ASAP and just, you know, donate to the clan and everything, contribute and get your hall upgraded and everything. But you can do another thing. You can go back and I'm gonna go back you cannot go back you probably are back anyway you can buy um, build a potion and this is very very much value right now it has a lot of value after the update because you can legit put four builders in here and use three or four potions and you can skip two days you know two days after three days and in one day you can wait one day you know but you can even buy five potions but i don't think that's very you know good but because it's just a lot of medals because look at the training potion it's 10 medals this one is 30 so the, the value is three times more than training potion so you want to you know actually like properly you know use it you don't have to finish all that you have you can skip the time and skipping the time already is gonna give you so much value it doesn't matter if the clan next to you or the clan of a content creator you watching they'll have like all their first 10 players they have contributed 50k you know it doesn't matter like don't even look at those because everyone wanna finish it you know you cannot finish that so fast you cannot if you gem a lot you cannot finish all this by the first week or two you know like it takes months to get to the golden quarry let's say also guys it's about the journey so you want to actually enjoy this you want to build the base you want to attack to it yourself you want to contribute you want to get the levels up you want to balance defense and the attack obviously offense and defense you can say and um, yeah so once you get this all up if you want to upgrade this to level 2 you need to upgrade the capital hall to level 3 this one to level 2 why do I say that because you get the super giant post and you get the minion barracks right and obviously you get all these stuff as well you but you probably have these in the other villages not the bottom i don't know but you have to upgrade the main hall the town hall or the capital hall or whatever you want to call it and uh, i'm still not used to all these names but if you want to upgrade these you need to unlock 25 more buildings and how do you do that by unlocking the runes you know so right now um we talked about it that for example right now i don't know who uh, contributed this uh spare thrower uh, it's like an archer tower basically but we said if you're gonna contribute because we already got a lot of defenses as um one of our players didn't check like the clan um email so he contributed wrong so everyone else went and contribute after him but for example, you wanna, for example, con contribute to the new stuff, like build the new runes. Runes are very important. And again, this will make your progress faster. If you go and upgrade the cannons and these ones, you're not gonna have these runes or something. And personally, I'm not sure if upgrading these cannons is gonna give you an upgrade that you can use to get your town hall or capital hall to level three, you know? by building the runes, rebuilding it, you can say, that's when you actually get, you know, the value to move, you know, to the capital hall level three. And capital hall level three unlocks a lot of stuff. You already unlock the wizard valley that gives you the super wizards and you get a lot of walls, wizard tower and the bomb, air bomb. It's a lot of stuff in capital hall three. So, um, but yeah, the main thing is to get your capital hall to level two for now right and again 
The fastest ways I told you guys about it's build a potion. You can obviously gem it right after. And when I tell you guys you have to get your troops upgraded, it's because there's gonna be raid weakens. In the raid weakens, the more you attack a certain base, the more capital gold you get because it gives you the capital gold. Now, the defense will give you um, the medals, the raid medals you get from defense and offense, obviously at the end end, but in between you can get capital medals and um, capital gold, sorry, my bad. Um, yeah, so I just checked real quick and it's written unlock or upgrade. 25 more building you can you know you can go upgrade a lot of cannons a lot of air defenses and you know you can contribute it there is no problem what I'm saying is the runes will give you like basically a bigger base it's a lot more like let's say you have upgraded a lot of here right if one man if one player attack there's open one anyway you don't have the walls because you don't have the room if you unlock this room you get 20 walls if you don't unlock the rooms, basically what's gonna happen is once every troop get inside this, one attacker can finish off your base. Or if the base, okay, you can say these are a bit higher levels, maybe one attacker cannot finish it. Two attackers is gonna finish it. And it's not gonna take them a lot of times. And if you unlock these rooms, it's gonna make your base bigger and harder to attack. And once you have a lot of what these rooms, like it gives you new buildings because you don't, you're not gonna have the bomb tower anytime soon. So that's basically the whole point of upgrading, let's say, new rooms. Because what you're trying to do at the end of the day is to get your capital hall upgraded as fast as possible to the level. If we get this 25 more buildings, we're gonna go straight for the capital hall because this will give us the wizard valley and the next one will give us the builder workshop or the dragon cliff one of these two i'm not sure but uh, actually it's written there this one is uh, capital hall level six okay so i was right about um it's, it's gonna give you the balloon lagoon and then builder's workshop and then dragon cliff and then golem quarry so you know it goes like that and um yeah also one thing you can do is to just you know loot more and more daily if you're in legends base you automatically get like you know a lot of loot you can say and also there is a uh, this bonus stars there's clan bars right now there's cwo as you guys can see and um, you can just you know get loot as much as possible and then you know put them in the forge that's the thing about this uh, once you have four builders here, the only thing you can do to speed this process up is by basically build a potion. And for example, in the clan camp, in the um, clan games, <laughs> I'm getting these names right, wrong, man. Like <laughs> in clan games, you can get the potion. But again, I told you guys, the fastest is not that potion in this, you know, particular um, situation. It's basically this because this one will give you two different builders to get more uh, capital gold in the forge. You can do this too, you know. It's so crazy. And the value of I'm gonna show you guys the builder base real quick. Look at this loot. I can easily have four different builders to cook me up some capital gold. You know and that's already a lot of time spent you know like you, you, I don't have to loot a lot I don't have to you know be crazy I don't have to wait there's a lot of players that um, for example sorry there's a lot of players that they don't even have um, four um, spots to cook the capital gold because they're not maxed out or town of 14 I think you need to be town of 14 town of 13 has uh, three I believe I'm not completely sure, but I don't have a Town Hall 13 account, but I know on my Town Hall 12, I'm going to show you guys real quick, on my Town Hall 12, um, I basically have um, 3, right, yeah, so you get it on Town Hall 14, Town Hall 13 is also 3, so, um, you know, that's all you can do, right, so you need to be building it as fast as possible, as much as possible. And yeah, only thing again to move it forward, you can gem it obviously, but I don't recommend it. There is no point of you gem, let's say, you know, 1,600 capital gold 
and um, just go and contribute it when no one else has a lot you know to contribute you're still gonna wait you know there's no point of you jamming if you can wait for like let's say two days and just do one builder portion two builder portion you're gonna remove one day of it and then you can wait one day and in one day who knows someone else might have already been done and then you contribute you get all your stuff done anyway but you don't have to wait for your clan mates obviously in these areas you can of course just contribute and wait um, if someone else is gonna come it doesn't matter if everyone's gonna do it together you know you can do your part exactly like this man um, did right here in capital <laughs> let's go to Cap Clan capital right yeah these two guys the first um, guy that contributed a lot was God Spark and he really like contributed 27k like at the very beginning and we got our bill um, and the capital hall to nearly level two you know that's how we went up there i wasn't online personally as well like i wasn't online for a lot of this stuff i was doing something else and um yeah so again guys you know that is the easiest and possible and you know quickest ways i could you know introduce you to and i hope you understand uh, all of it and um, if you do not please ask me questions anything and I'm gonna be bringing you guys bases and as you guys can see right now you you can't screenshot it but you know it's not really full you know base but this is what I've built you probably guessed that this wasn't the default build this is what I built and um, yeah this is really important because in these levels the only armies you're gonna be attacked by if Let's say if the if the search engine is good and you get to weakened and you have raids, you know weakened raids, they're gonna give you guys a town hall or a capital hall that is your kind of level. So they don't have a lot of other troops. They have barbarians and archers. So what this does is basically look at the two gap between the cannon and the wall. The archers cannot reach it. The archers can only reach this spare arrow after they destroy these three, you know, clan house. And once they do, they're gonna be. I'm gonna show you guys with the pen. They're gonna be rotating. Let me change color. They're gonna be rotating from here when they destroy this down to here. And this cannon is gonna, you know, shoot anyone going down, you know, in his range. Same with this cannon. It's gonna do the same when everyone goes around him. Same with barbarians. And at the end, what they're gonna do is either break through the wall when you know these are down after for example he took down a lot of base they're gonna break through the wall which is gonna you know take a lot of time for them so if they're not that side they're this side they need to go through obviously these two giant bombs like this was i think personally the best base you can build kind of for the capital peak because um, for capital hall level two you can say but um, once we get it to level three we're gonna unlock a lot more and the base is gonna be a lot bigger and um, yeah, you guys can guess obviously and I'm gonna be bringing you guys bases as well if you want and um, you can obviously take a look at it you know screenshot it copy it I'm gonna have links and um, yeah I hope you obviously enjoy this video again if you have any questions for it let me know I, of course I'm gonna be actually you know building this base as well this is a bit different with different strategy because of obviously the small uh, rivers and stuff that you have here like small lakes you know all this stuff so you can build different kind of bases for different type of attacks and yeah that was it guys for the video i hope you enjoyed it again if you did please make sure to like sub and um, yeah comment down below if you have any questions i'm answering anything and um, yeah I'll, I'll always read your comments it's important to me and um, yeah i hope you have a wonderful day and peace